Hi everyone, it's Alia or Cake Legend and today's video is another cake decorating tutorial. Today we're going to be making this blue buttercream cake, almost kind of an abstract design with little twinkling sparkles. To start off, we're going to need our cake stacked and filled and chilled and ready to go. And then we're going to need some blue buttercream. I'm using American buttercream and I used the color sky blue to get it this nice light color. Um, you're going to need one shade of blue to be your base and then another two shades, which you'll see in a clip coming soon. We're just masking the cake in our base color. It's going to have a smooth finish. And if you're unsure on how to mask a cake, you can find another tutorial in the top right hand corner. Now that we have our cake all smooth and ready to go, we're going to grab some white buttercream and then we're going to have two different shades of blue. One that's a little lighter than the base and one that's darker. Place the cake in the fridge or freezer to chill until the buttercream is firm before adding the design on the sides and the top. Start with the white buttercream and grab our large offset spatula. You're just going to put a little bit of buttercream on the end and just make these little swipes all over the cake. It's really simple, just smudge the buttercream around. It doesn't have to look really neat or tidy either. You can do it however you want. Next, we're going in with the light shade of blue. As you can see, it's a little lighter than the base and I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the white. Don't think too much about where you're placing these swipes because it really doesn't matter that much. I would just find an empty spot and put a little swipe there. Now we're going in with the dark blue shade and again, same process. At this point, I'm going in and making some of the small smudges a little bit bigger. I'm even making some of them a little bit thicker to add a bit of dimension. And I'm going back to some of the other colors, like the white and the blue, if I feel like it's gotten a little too covered up. Just keep going until you're happy with how the cake looks. But remember, you don't need to cover up every little spot. We're also going to be adding a border to the top and bottom of the cake as well as the little sparkles. At this point, I was satisfied with my cake, so it's time to do the border. We're going to use this Wilton piping tip number 6B. I think it's also called a French tip. And to make the multicolored buttercream, we're going to start by putting a little blob of each color into the bag, one at a time. First the white on one third, and then the light blue, and then the dark blue, and then back to the white and keep going until your bag is pretty full. When you squeeze it out, you should be able to see all colors. And then we're just gonna pipe a basic shell border along the bottom and the top edge of the cake. And when you refill your bag, make sure you're putting the white where you put the white before. Same with the other two colors. Otherwise, if you put the white where you put the dark blue before, it's going to come out looking a lot messier.
Now to make the little sparkles, we're going to use this Wilton number no. 3 tip, also known as like a small round tip, and some yellow buttercream, and you just pipe whatever kind of sparkles you want to do. I did little like X's, little dots, little diamonds. Unfortunately, I didn't get to film all the different kinds of sparkles I made because at this point my camera battery was gonna die and I needed to film like the final shots of the cake so I just filmed a couple which you can see here and then I did the rest of the cake off camera but just have fun with it and make your own little stars or you could even do hearts or smiley faces really just make it your own and once I was done making all these little sparkles the cake was finished I think it turned out really cute. I actually just got a tattoo of little sparkles similar to the ones on this cake, so clearly it was on my mind this day. <laughs> but I really love this design and I love the simplicity of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment and a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!